Tom Brady is the best of the best. But what was the best of the best, best season? He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! Brady has his fifth! As we sit back and enjoy the dawn of Brady's career, it's time to look back on it all and rank his first 22 seasons from worst to first. And hey, a big shout out to Jay King for suggesting this video. Number 22, 2008. Coming off his first MVP winning season and a heartbreaking loss to the New York Giants in Super Bowl 42, Brady and the Patriots looked poised for another special season. Sadly, Brady's 2008 campaign barely lasted half a quarter. He tore his ACL after taking a hit from the Chiefs' Bernard Pollard, abruptly ending his season. Brady completed 7 of 11 pass attempts for 76 yards, before suffering the injury that put the kibosh on what was easily the worst season of his legendary career. Number 21, 2000. This was Brady's rookie season, during which he served as a backup to Drew Bledsoe. The Michigan product appeared in just one game, completing one of three pass attempts for six yards. Number 20, 2019. Statistically speaking, this was one of Brady's more, uh, un-Brady-like seasons. Rob Gronkowski had retired, and a difficult cap situation prevented Bill Belichick from supplying Brady with the necessary weaponry. This was also Brady's final season in New England, and it ended on a rather sour note, with a loss to the underdog Tennessee Titans at home in the wildcard round. Number 19, 2006. The Patriots leaned mostly on the league's number two scoring D and the rushing duo of Corey Dillon and Lawrence Maroney, who each surpassed 700 rushing yards. So Brady essentially just had to play like a game manager this year, and that was enough for New England to finish 12 and four. Brady played well in the postseason, but his Patriots blew a 21 to three lead over the rival Indianapolis Colts in the AFC Championship game. Number 18, 2005. Brady led the NFL in passing yards this season with 4,110, which isn't exactly an astronomical number, and he did have the fourth most pass attempts that season. Brady also threw 14 picks that year, tied for the worst mark of his career. The Patriots finished 10-6 and, and were wiped out by the Denver Broncos in the divisional round. Number 17, 2013. Brady maneuvered well through difficult circumstances this season. His top wideout Wes Welker bolted for Denver in free agency, and superstar tight end Rob Gronkowski played just seven games. With Julian Edelman serving as Brady's only reliable weapon throughout the full season, Brady salvaged a 60.5 completion percentage while throwing for 4,343 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 11 picks. The Pats finished 12-4 once again, but fell to Peyton Manning's Broncos in the AFC Championship game. Number 16, 2002. This was the only season the Patriots missed the playoffs in which Brady played a full season. But he did his part all right by leading the NFL with 28 touchdown passes. But New England's defense took a giant step back, and they finished 9-7 and, and missed the postseason altogether. Number 15, 2009. Brady returned with a force after missing practically all of 2008 with an ACL tear. Brady won Comeback Player of the Year honors and guided the Pats to another AFC East Division title with a 10-6 record. However, they were blown out by the Baltimore Ravens in the wildcard round. Number 14, 2001. Yes, yes, the 2001 season marked the beginning of Tom Brady's illustrious career. This was a season in which he led the Patriots their first ever Super Bowl championship. But individual performances must be accounted for here. And Brady was merely average, if we're being honest. He finished with 2,843 passing yards while averaging under 200 per game. And he had just 18 touchdowns compared to 12 picks. Don't forget that Bledsoe had to finish out the team's 2001 AFC Championship win over the Pittsburgh Steelers with Brady injured. And it was mostly the defense that propelled New England to that stunning Super Bowl 36 upset over the St. Louis Rams. Still, all in all, a pretty successful year for the sophomore QB. Number 13, 2003. Coming off a disappointing campaign where they missed the playoffs, Brady and the Pats came back with a vengeance in 03. The final result? A 14-2 regular season record and a thrilling Super Bowl 38 victory over the Carolina Panthers. Brady once again pieced together a clutch drive at the very end to set up Adam Vinatieri's game-winning field goal. Number 12, 2018. This was a year where many thought the Patriots dynasty was over, following their Super Bowl loss to the Philadelphia Eagles coupled with rumors of a rift between Brady, Belichick, and Robert Kraft. Brady was decent this year with 4,355 passing yards, 29 touchdowns, and 11 picks. New England finished 11-5 in the regular season, which was their worst record in nine years. But Brady showed up when it mattered most in the postseason and led the Pats to a Super Bowl 53 title against the Rams. This would be the sixth and final Lombardi trophy that he and Belichick would win together. Number 11, 2004. 
Minus the interceptions, Brady's 2004 season was slightly better, statistically speaking, than his 2003 campaign. He earned a second career Pro Bowl nod by throwing for 3,692 yards and 28 touchdowns against only 14 picks. Brady finished with a 92.6 quarterback rating, which was the best of his career at the time. New England again finished 14-2 in the regular season, and they outlasted the Philadelphia Eagles in Super Bowl 39 to claim their third championship, officially cementing dynasty status. Number 10, 2015 Brady was initially set to miss the first four games of 2015 due to a suspension over his alleged involvement in the Deflategate scandal. However, he got the suspension overturned and was able to play out the entire campaign. Brady and the defending champs took out all their frustration from Deflategate on the league early and often. It started out a perfect 10-0 and Brady looked like the MVP frontrunner. The Patriots dropped four of their final six games, however, and Cam Newton managed to run away with the MVP award. Brady and the Patriots advanced to a fifth straight AFC title game, but they had absolutely no answer for Von Miller in the Broncos' defense. In Peyton Manning's penultimate game, Denver narrowly defeated New England 20-18. Number 9, 2017 Brady and the Patriots uncharacteristically struggled in the first quarter of the season, winning just two of their first four games before barely clawing out one-score wins in Week 5 and 6. They kicked it into another gear for Week 7 onward, though, and lost just one more regular season game to finish 13-3. Brady won his third MVP award by throwing for a league-leading 4,577 yards and 32 touchdowns against just eight picks. The defending champs reached Super Bowl 52, but despite a 505 three-touchdown performance from Brady, it wasn't enough as the Pats fell to the underdog Philadelphia Eagles 41 to 33 in a back and forth thriller. Number 8, 2010. With a young defense and several new pieces on offense, expectations weren't as high in New England compared to previous years. Game on for Brady and Belichick. Brady had what was the second best statistical season of his career at the time with 3,900 passing yards, a league leading 36 touchdowns, and only four interceptions, which accounted for an insane 111.0 quarterback rating. Brady's Pats cruised to the AFC's best record at 14-2, but they were stunned by Rex Ryan's New York Jets 28-21 in the divisional round. Number 7, 2012 no Super Bowl hangover for Brady here. The GOAT captained a Patriots offense that racked up 444 first downs, the most ever by a team in a single season. Their 557 points scored also marked the third best single season team total at the time. Brady had 4,827 passing yards and 34 touchdowns against only 8 picks. He and the Pats cruised to a 12 win season, but Ray Lewis's Ravens upset them in the AFC Championship game. Number 6, 2011 Brady's 2011 season was much better statistically compared to the 2010 campaign, but it was Aaron Rodgers who ran away with the MVP award this time around. In 2011, a 34-year-old Brady threw for a whopping 5,235 passing yards, 39 touchdowns, and only 12 interceptions. He had 11 300-yard games, including a 517-yard performance in Week 1 against the Miami Dolphins. Brady and the Patriots reached Super Bowl 46 against a familiar foe in Eli Manning. New York Giants. Once again, the Pats were upset in the big game by Peyton's younger brother in the final minute. Number 5, 2021. After leading the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to a Super Bowl 55 championship, Brady was awarded with a one-year extension and the luxury of having each 2022 starter return to the roster. Though the Bucs were hit hard by injuries late in the season, Brady went off for one of the best seasons in history. He had a career-best 5,316 passing yards and 43 touchdowns. Both of those numbers led the NFL, but Aaron Rodgers still won MVP honors over TB12. Unfortunately, the Bucs Super Bowl title defense ended up with a heartbreaking loss to the Los Angeles Rams in the divisional round. Number 4, 2020. The cherry on top of Brady's legacy. The man proved he did not need Bill Belichick or the Patriots to win another Super Bowl in 2020. Brady and the Bucks' offense was like a roller coaster through their first 12 games, as they stood at just 7 and 5 entering December. But the group came together and closed out the season on a four game winning streak. All Brady and the Bucks did from there was win three road playoff games, including upsets over Drew Brees' New Orleans Saints and Rodgers' Green Bay Packers, before annihilating Patrick Mahomes' Chiefs in the Super Bowl. 4,006 633 yards, 40 touchdowns, and 12 picks for Brady in year one with his new team as a 43-year-old? You know what? That's not half bad. Number 3, 
2014. Brady has had better statistical seasons than this one, but this deserves a top three spot because it was the ultimate legacy clincher. After an ugly 2-2 two two start, many people wondered if Brady was finished, and if New England's reign of terror was finally over. But Brady and the offense woke up and proceeded to win 12 of their next 11 games and route to a 12-win season. He had 4,109 yards and 33 touchdowns against only 9 interceptions. Brady's Patriots narrowly avoided a scare against Baltimore in the divisional round, erasing two separate 14-point deficits in the win. And of course, he led New England to a thrilling fourth-quarter comeback over the Seahawks' lead in a boom in Super Bowl 49. Number 2, 2016. The NFL appealed the overturning of Brady's four-game suspension in 2016, and they succeeded in having it reinstated. Even though Brady missed the first four games of the season, his play from Week 5 onward was ridiculous enough to claim the number 2 spot here. Brady won 11 of 12 starts and threw 28 touchdowns against only 2 picks. He averaged 296.2 yards per game, too. After cruising through the AFC, Brady and the Pats seemed doomed when they trailed 28-3 to the Atlanta Falcons in the second half of Super Bowl 51. But Brady never panicked and masterfully orchestrated the most historic comeback in league history. Number 1, 2007. The Pats didn't win the Super Bowl in 07, but who cares? Brady rewrote the record books and pieced together one of the best seasons in NFL history. He set an NFL record with 50 touchdown passes and had a league-leading 4,806 passing yards and a ridiculous 100 17.2 QB rating. Their 589 points were the most ever by a team in a single year, and Randy Moss set a single season record with 23 touchdown receptions. Oh, and the Patriots became the first team to go 16-0 in the regular season. They then advanced to Super Bowl 42, but were shocked by Eli Manning's Giants. A sour ending for sure, but this was easily the best all-around individual season of Brady's career. But which season do you think was Brady's best? Join us in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.